Hi, I'm Hannah Bernard. You're watching Market One Minute, and I'm here today with Brian Marr of PPX Mining. Thank you so much for being with Glad us. Glad to be here today. So you announced the beginning of the underground test mining and bulk sampling program in October, had a few months under your belt. So tell us the progress with that. We're actually very excited about the progress to date. We've completed over 300 meters of ramps and raises developing the mineralization that we'll be test mining. And that's a very high level of progress, very rapid. We've already shipped over a thousand tons of bulk sample to a nearby toll mill. And thus far, the results have been outstanding. We're seeing an average grade exactly as we expected, mm -hmm. eight grams per ton, so a nice high grade underground during our channel sampling program to verify the resources, the grades are actually higher and the widths greater than we anticipated based on the resource model. Also, in the plant that's processing the bulk sample, we're seeing a higher recovery than expected, almost exactly what was predicted by our bench scale test work. So we're really pleased with the program today. Those are the results that you want to see. So exactly. let's talk about 2017. Do you expect to do much drilling this year? Exactly. It's a key focus for the company. Since 2012, we haven't had the opportunity to do any exploration drilling. We've been focused on getting the underground mine up and running. Now that we're fully financed and we have cash in our treasury, we are going to get back to exploration because that's the real value driver for any junior company. We expect to drill at least 10,000 meters this year, focusing on two different aspects. Number one, increasing the resource that could be available for underground mining now but then also stepping away from the area of mine to see what the ultimate resource potential of our land package is. We're located in one of the most prolific gold belts in the world, the Northern Peru Copper Gold Belt, mm -hmm. and yet we've only drilled 78 holes in 13 square kilometers. That alone tells you what the potential of our project could be. So let's talk about that potential. What do you see as key drivers for immediate success with PPX? Great question. What we're doing here is putting together a production company and an exploration company focused on a key land package in a major gold trend. So, number one, continue the bulk mining, continue the bulk sampling, the test mining program, and lead to a PFS this year. A PFS that can demonstrate the economic viability of an underground mine. We're targeting 350 tons per day as the subject of the PFS, and with a positive PFS, we'll be able to go into production. So that's the production side of the story. Mm -hmm. But also, backstopped against that is an aggressive exploration campaign that as I mentioned, outlines what is the ultimate resource potential, but what other resources could be available to mine right now yeah. from our underground platform. So Brian, something that's unique to PPX is the relationship that you have with the community and your commitment to that in Northern Peru. Can you talk about the relationship there? Absolutely, and, and we consider this vital. You hear a lot of companies talk about the social license to operate mm -hmm. and they trot out examples of things they've done. The last four years, while we have been on hiatus, getting ready to build our mine, our company has focused solely on our community, the community of Cayenquitas, 150 people that live high in the Andes who are anxious to see our project go forward, but they're anxious to see it go forward in a way that's sustainable for the community. And so instead of the usual types of projects, we focused on long-term investment in the community, building irrigation canals, upgrading the school system, building a medical facility. These are things that will last in that community far longer than our mining project. And because of that, we've developed the trust and confidence of the community. And we're very, very proud of that. So let's talk about some long-term goals as far as success for PPX. What do those look like? Well, what we want to do is get our mine up at our scheduled production rate of 350 tons per day. We expect that to occur by the end of this year and then going into 2018. With that pre-feasibility study in hand, it will also document ways we can expand production at low cost. We would like to be a 50,000 ounce per year producer by the end of 2018. That's a real strong goal for us, but mm -hmm. with the grades we have and the low cost that we expect from our mining operation, that's very achievable. The other side of the coin though is documenting the true size of this mineralized system. Yeah. We believe that there's multi-million ounce potential and by simply looking at our neighbors in the district, you can see that that's the size of deposit that occurs in this region. So we really want to get after that. Ultimately, we see the company being potentially one that could be consolidating other mining operations and we can build a mid-sized gold and silver producer focused on Peru. Sounds like a lot of great news coming from PPX Mining. Brian, thank you so much for being with us. Great to be here today. Thank you so much.